Someone wanted to thrift really, really bad. <laughs> so I am using the Amazon app to scan and to type in the title if it doesn't have a barcode and it looks worthy of looking up. But because I don't like the interface for typing in uh, items, titles within FBA scan. However, I will use FBA scan to look at camel, camel, camel. And if there's one that doesn't have a barcode, I don't usually look it up unless it looks promising. This one I would look up if it had the artwork. This one, say I can't scan, so I take a look at it. I might look it up, maybe. <clears throat> this one doesn't have a... No, I would not look that one up. I would not look that one up. So I'm just going through these methodically and scanning them or typing them in, typing them in but nine out of ten times I won't look it up uh, manually. I won't, I won't um, type it in because I want to get through them and there's a lot. I went through this entire shelf and this entire stack down here are empty cases. Empty cases. They're straight. Jack and CDs at Goodwill. 15, 14, 15, 15, 16, right? Just finished sourcing a run at Goodwill. And I only looked at the CDs because the books were so outrageously priced. Most of them were $3. I didn't even bother. But the CDs, I, I did really, really well. Found 16 of them. And probably close to half are going for good money. I found this classic soft rock stuff. It's all the same, I mean it's different, but it's all the same company and it's all this different type of soft rock stuff. Most of it's going for over 15 or so. Some of them all the way up to closer to 20. Most of them are ranked under 100,000 or at least under 150,000. So they're gonna move. That was a great score. I kept finding them, I found like five of them. The thing that got me once again, the amount of empty CD cases. It's just blowing my mind the amount of people that steal CDs. Women putting them into their purses or men putting them into their oversized pockets, into their jacket pockets. And I don't understand. Clearly, they don't want to pay the, the dollar or two dollars for a CD. They would rather just steal it and then enjoy it at home or in their car. It's very strange. I see it happening at Goodwill more than anywhere else. I've talked about that in previous videos a couple times, so it's, uh, it's not a surprise. It just always blows my mind the amount of CDs that were missing. I also found some other good CDs. I found this one, Firefly. There were no FBA offers and aside from Amazon, but it is um, going for good money. Well, you know, about 12 bucks or so. So I also have to mention that I, they all said majority of the CDs were 199, but then when I got up there to pay, she only charged me 99 cents. So either they were priced incorrectly or they were having a sale or she wanted to give me a break. I don't know, but I got them for a dollar each or 99 cents each. So I paid just under $16 because Goodwill doesn't charge tax for 16 CDs, so a dollar each. This was one of the most valuable ones I found. Burl Ives sings Little White Ducks. I've heard of this guy before. He's from way back. Maybe some of you are familiar with him. That's him right there. And this one's going for like, I think 20 or more dollars. It's gonna be a nice sale. So a dollar for that. Then I found a couple cool ones like Return of the Jedi soundtrack. There's no FBA offers. It's probably not gonna go for a lot of money, but it's just cool to find and that there's not any competition. So I'll see what I can get for it. Maybe I'll list it 1995, but probably I could list it for 12, 13 bucks. It'll probably sell, but we'll see. But that one sells pretty consistently. And this one was really cool, which was also probably the second most valuable was the soundtrack from The Clockwork Orange which I'm sure most of us have seen. One of the creepier movies ever made. This one was going for around 20 bucks too. So, nice CD scores today. 
for a dollar each, you can't beat it really. Those are some nice scores. I'll definitely be able to gross over a hundred dollars. So that was a nice sourcing run. I've talked in the past a lot about the Amazon seller app and why I like to use it and that sort of thing. They recently did an update and I've been using it, but I've been having some issues specifically with the connection where there is an internet connection, but it claims there isn't. So it says it'll scan for offline and then I can look it up later, which doesn't help me. So I've been having that issue and I've been using FBA scan because I'm on their 30 day trial. So I don't like FBA scan. Number one, I don't like the layout. Number two, I don't like how long it takes to bring up the barcode scanner and how small the barcode scanner is. And number three, I, I don't like the typing, the type in uh, function. And four, I don't like the results. So it brings up the results in a little tiny window that I can barely see versus Amazon brings up results on the entire screen and I can see what category it falls into. It'll say CD, but it won't even tell me if it's vinyl or not. Uh, instead of saying vinyl, if I'm looking at vinyl. So I, I, I think that if Amazon seller app is working, I'm gonna use that to look up items manually to type in titles or ISBNs or whatever it is. So then the thing I really like though about FBA scan is having camel, 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 just being able to touch the camel icon and immediately bring up what the result is on camel, 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 which really helps for certain types of items so I can see what the sales history has been like. So that's a big one. I'm probably gonna do is once the 30 day trial is up, which is probably gonna come up here in a week or so, is subscribe to the FBA scan for 10 bucks a month, mostly, two reasons when amazon app is not working and if i want to look it up on the camel website for certain items most items i don't need to but sometimes i i need to check it just to see what the sales history is like i'll be paying 10 bucks a month which is not too bad and i won't have the downloadable database but i don't seem to have that issue i usually have internet access if i start having that issue of, of internet connection with any frequency then i'll have to subscribe to the downloadable database but the other thing is I'm probably gonna have to get a Bluetooth scanner because I don't like the scanner on FBA scan. So I'm probably gonna have to buy that on eBay and start using that, which will make my scanning go faster and won't be such a pain in the butt. So I'll probably get to that at some point here and then everyone get off my back about that. <laughs> Seriously, no, thank you for all of the input about, about scanning apps and scanners and all that, I appreciate it. It was a good run overall. I didn't get any books, but that's okay. So I got some great CDs to sell. And as I'm going through the CD lot right now, I can add these to the mix and send them all in for my next shipment, or we'll see how many I can send in before they split the shipment. Hopefully you're having a good day. And as always, remember, keep booking.